Hi, I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with JDE Law Firm. I am a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. Today I want to talk about written agreements. If you've watched anything I've done before, I'm always saying get it in writing. Okay, that's my number one tenant. And twice this week, I had a consultation where someone is owed money for work they did and they didn't have any kind of written agreement. The first one, you know, he ended up doing some work for a friend's father for a few months or six months or a year. I don't remember the, the time frame. And he, it was on a construction website. This guy really wanted to learn construction work so he could have a little bit of a trade, bring in some money. And the guy just stopped paying him, stopped giving him work. And he's owed thousands of dollars and the guy's refusing to pay it. And in my second consultation, this guy's a business owner. Okay, he was hired by a contractor. He was given work as a subcontractor to, he works on floors, you know, to finish the floors, refinish them or whatever he does. And again, the guy's just not paying him. Um, both of them have an idea of what they're owed, especially the guy who owns his own business, but there's nothing in writing, right? So if they're to sue, for how much they're gonna work, you know, how much they think they're owed. What they need to do is they need to bring the lawsuit, they need to be able to prove how much time they worked, you know, that they were hired to do the job, and what their hourly wage was, what the job's worth, something along those lines. They gotta be able to prove their money, right? You can't just say I worked for them, you gotta be able to prove, well, what would you be owed? And it's not always easy. You know, if you can get them to trip up and say what they said they were paying you, great. But again, just because you have a winning case does not mean you win. Because you need to prove the amount. Okay, that's called proving damages. And if you don't have a written agreement, it's a lot harder to prove damages. You can't, you can say, I worked 40 hours and the guy was supposed to pay me $30 an hour. The guy comes back, goes, he was getting minimum, when, even if he agrees that he worked for him, you say, well, he was getting a minimum wage. Right? You have to be able to prove what it is. So my advice is never do work without a written agreement. All right. In one case, we have a guy who was working for the dad of a close friend. All right. Another one is working for a, a business contractor that he's done work for in the past. They are still getting screwed over. Do not do work without a written agreement. Okay. If you know them, I don't recommend it, but at least get them to email you, text you, yeah, I'm going to pay you 500 a day or whatever the agreement is. So at least you have some kind of writing you can prove. But get it in writing, okay? Do not do work without an agreement, all right? If you have any questions, you know, would like to discuss business litigation with me, uh, anything to do with oral agreements, written agreements, please feel free to schedule a consultation with me at jdelaw.nyc and go to schedule a consultation. It's right there on the side, very easy to find. Once again, I am Jesse David Eisenberg with JD Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. I appreciate you guys watching this. Thanks.